you know, I think scouting plays a big, uh, a big part for the returner. You know, um, the, 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 the return that causes the most problem in doubles is the soft return these days. Mm -hmm. It is not the hard return. So one of my jobs was to try and find the other player's best volley mm -hmm. and how they would handle a soft return. If in time you can develop a little roll or a little nude chip. We call them nude in Australia. There's nothing on them at all, you know? <laughs> now, nude is great mm -hmm. for, for the guy at the net. Huh? But this guy's got to watch the ball very hard. He's got to make pace. And this guy all over it. Can, can be there. But, you know, so many times it's hard, hard, harder, harder, harder. Right. And so the winners come. But, you know, so do, so do errors and it's easier to volley the harder ball. Yeah, they, they practice lobs every day. And I got this story that they were down a set and a break in Wimbledon final, and uh, against, I think it was Connell and Black, and uh, then they started to lob. Why they started to lob? Because we practice it every day, practice return lobs every day. And McEnroe was in the box set well, if they think they're going to get out of this by lobbing, they're in the up, going up the wrong street in the wrong direction, you know? And, you know, it was one of the great things that I enjoyed is him eventually saying he was wrong. <laughs> he did win that match yeah. by lobbing. So, and a number of other people have noticed that Mark and Todd did practice their lob returns every day. They didn't practice them for long, you know, but they hit... Chip lobs, right? 10, 20, yeah. Yeah, you can't go in first serves back with <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the whole the whole thing for Mark and Todd being such a good double team is, is is what we're talking about now. Is a the variety of uh, return uh, um, spin and and, uh, and and pace. You know. Yeah. We you know when we started out, Mark couldn't get the ball into the alley from the return. You know, we'd have a competition, you go, of course, I've got five balls in the alley then with his back end of the roll, you know. And, and, and you know, we, we worked up from, from things like like that, you know. A successful thing that's come into the game more and more, just yeah. built in the daylight out of the straight at the net player, right. you know. And we used to practice slammers. We just <laughs> slam the bloody thing straight at the net guy. So just got to, just got to, just got to, his job's just to make the thing, you know. Four out of five times or three out of five times or something. When somebody loses their serve, it's the net guy. You know, at least 50% of the time, yeah, it's right. the net guy that loses the serve. Right? Yeah. You can't bloody, you can't bloody will win the game unless you get the ball back. I'm tight, Mark. If I get a chance in these first two points this game, I'm going down the line. You know, be ready. Okay, so he takes a position up huh? a little bit differently, maybe, you know? Mm -hmm. He's looking for the guy to go down the line, so he's trying to okay. uh, squeeze off the middle. Yeah, yeah. And, um, uh, you know, if I get a second serve here, I'm going to lock. You know, uh, you know be ready. Um, you know, uh, I'm just going to try and get the first one back low. Mm -hmm. A good doubles player, and a trade a good doubles player, is they go looking for the ball. Bad doubles players want to disappear. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. Good doubles players and great doubles players go looking for the ball. Mm -hmm. You know, and you can Rochi, most probably the best team of all time, you know, in, in my, my opinion. Um, you know, they had a much more, um, you know, Rochi had a great flair from the back second court. And, and uh, Nuke was just an incredibly great match player, you know? And, and um, uh, you know, they both had quite a bit of variety, but Roach had far more, you know? And yeah, there's, great, there's great doubles teams. Nuke and Roach, they only intercepted at the crucial times. They didn't intercept very much at all. Right? As, a, as returners or as serv service partners? Both. Okay. They never were all over the net intercepting everywhere, you know? Mm -hmm. But they were a different team, you know? They were great players, terrific servers, good volleyers. They handled their own volleys and everything like that. Mark and Todd were a different 
situation altogether. You know, they weren't great servers. Huh? They had they had to intercept, intercept, create. You know, create all this stuff going on. That's how they have to play. You know, so they were intercepting all the time. They were, it, normally, it's, a, it's it's better, I think, to be inside the service line. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, particularly if you've got confidence in your partner's right. returns. You know, and and even getting more uh, for the second service. Right. But you can change it around all the time, and that's what you're you're, you're thinking. If you're changing these positions, right. mm -hmm. trying to make people think. You're not just Okay, the coach said I stand here, and I'm standing here, and for the next five hours I'm going to stand here, whether, you know, mm -hmm. huh? it's, it's, it's variety yeah. creative. You've got to make them think. Mm -hmm. You've got to make them think. Because if you do something, you've got a chance of an error. Huh? Now, what's that bugger standing there for? The, the, the non-returning player uh, caused a problem on the circuit. One stage, the Australians stand close to the centre line. If the, if the server's got a got a second serve. They're trying to put pressure on to get the other guy a forehand return. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Doubles about imagination, and about creating, you know, and having a huge range of shots. That's always something that's, that's been part of, you know, the Australian game, if you like, you know. And I see it as, as, as a way to get enjoyment out of the game, of, of, of trying these things, different things. It makes a day yeah. mm -hmm. good, you know? Mm -hmm. Let's try hitting some soft return things, you know? yeah. huh? Let's see how soft, I mean, many matches, Todd and Mark have been telling each other, softer, softer, <laughs> huh? Wow. Softer to the four and volley, softer, yeah. huh? The first objective to starting out a doubles match is I think you've got to open up the court. You know, I think you've got to go down the line early. And both players have to go down the line early. You've got to lob early. You've got to open up the, the court. You've got to start weaving a spell that the player, the people, are not sure where the attack's coming from. You know? That's the point of the whole thing, is the returners have to make it unpredictable. That's the point. <coughs> Once it becomes predictable, oh, yeah. you, you, you've got nowhere to go as a return.